Hello, this is simple and compound interest lesson six. In this, I will discuss some examples on compound interest. In the previous lessons of simple and compound interest, I discussed about the basics and some examples on those basics. Now, in this class, I will discuss what kind of question that comes in exams and more importantly, how to solve the question in least possible time. See our objective is to solve the question in least possible time in all kind of aptitude exams this is the most important things least possible time whether it's MB entrance exam CAT, MAT, GMAT, GRE, Bank, PO any kind of aptitude exam you have to solve the question in least possible time and how you can solve the question in least possible time using concept concept options logic and assumption assumptions and minimum writing maximum thinking you have to write minimum these five things are important concept options logic assumptions and minimum writing using one or more of those you can solve the question first question is a sum of money amounts to rupees 6000 in 3 years this amount in 3 years and 7935 in 5 years on compound interest rate of interest is given to you r percent per annum this is compounding annually you need to find the value of r as i told you we have to write the minimum so how i will solve this question in exam see amount a5 a5 stands for amount after 5 years we have given a3 can I say amount A5 will be equal to A3 grow by R% percent for 2 years. This is 1 plus R by 100 power 2. I told you that in the basics whenever rate of interest is R% percent per annum compounding annually your compound interest amount principal will increase by R% percent every year. Every year. So amount of A3 will increase by R% percent for 2 years to become A5. This is given to you 7935 is equal to 6000 1 plus R by 100 power 2. If you solve this 1 plus R by 100 power 2 will become 7935 by 6000. Now cancel that out by 5. It is visible. This is 1200. This is 5 1s are 5, 5 5s five are 25, 5 8s are 40, 5 7, this is 7. Again, it is divisible by 3, this is 400, 3 5s are 15, 3 2s are 6, 5 2 9. Can I this is square of 23 by 20 whole square? So, solving this, you will get 1 plus r by 100 is equal to. 23 by 20 which means r by 100 is equals to 3 by 20 r is 15 percent so rate of interest will be 15 percent so in exam you don't have to write much this is the only equation that you need to solve in books you you will find that complicated solution but it's quite simple a5 is given a3 is given you need to calculate and so calculate the answer the next question says that a sum of money double itself on compound interest in seven years at some rate of interest in how many years the same sum will become eight times itself at the same rate of interest options are given to you now I will solve this question by two ways one is a conceptual way other is a logical way first I am solving this with the concept method how to can solve with the conceptual part now you can amount double itself can I say amount after seven years a7 amount after seven years is equals to twice of principal amount got double because initial value let's initial value was initial principal was p rupees so amount after seven is 2p this equals to what is amount formula is p into 1 plus r raised to the power r by 100 raised to the power 7 years this is a basic formula for 
calculating amount so amount after 7 is got doubled this is 2p so can I say from where you will get 2 is equals to 1 plus r by 100 raised to the power 7 this you will get now what you need to calculate at same rate of interest uh, how much time the value will be 8 times so let's say after n years after n years amount will be p into 1 plus r by 100 raised to the power n it becomes 8 times of itself after n years amount becomes 8 times of itself that is 8p so 1 plus r by 100 raised to the power n is equals to 8 now 8 is what this is 2 cube so solving this 1 plus r by 100 raised to the power n now what was the value of 2 see the value of 2 2 value is 1 by 2 value is 1 by 1 plus r by 100 raised to the power 7 so this is equals to 1 plus r by 100 raised to the power 7 power 3 so this will become 1 plus r by 100 raised to the power n this equals to 1 plus r by 100 this is the power 21 so n is equal to 21 years so it means that after 21 years your amount will become 8 times of itself this is a conceptual met method and it may take time I have sold in a bit detailed manner in exams you can solve in a bit faster manner but still this question will take uh, 1 minute or 1.5 minute to solve but as I told you we can solve the question least amount of time using all the things I told you now what let's apply the logic on this question how can I solve this question with the logic see assume again by those method I told you you can solve the question by concept logic assumptions I am assuming that initial principle was rupees 7 100 rupees initial principle was rupees 100 you can take any value this is the initial value P you invested at some rate r percent per annum in seven years this money becomes double 200 this is amount after seven year a7 this amount after seven years now as i told you that in the beginning of the compound test classes that amount after seven years will become the principle for next set of years so this amount after seven years will become the principle for eighth year this 200 will become the principal for the upcoming years now this principal again invested at r percent per annum 7 years will become double of itself that is 400 rupees because any amount you invest you invest any amount let's say you invest x any amount you invest it will become double of itself in 7 years at r percent so 100 you invested after 7 years it becomes 200 now 200 will be the new investment from the 8th year principal for 8th year this again investment will double in 7 years at r percent 400 again this is amount after 14 years this will become the principal for 15th year 400 again this 400 invested at r percent per annum for 7 years it will becomes double of itself that is 800 this is amount after 21 years so in 21 years your money is getting eight times so answer is 21 years now you can see that in this way we can solve this question in less than 30 seconds i'm telling you because i can solve this question verbally your amount is getting double in seven years so 100 becomes 200 in seven years 200 becomes 400 in 7 years and 400 becomes 800 again in 7 years so answer is 21 years so less than 30 seconds you can solve this question that's how you have to learn you have to practice you have to think how you can solve the question in least possible time using concept options logic and assumptions this is the next question question number three a certain sum amounts to triple nine this amount in nine years and 2197 in 12 years this amount after 12 years on compound interest with some rate of interest is given to you you need to find the value of p that is principal again you can solve this question with the help of concept you mo must know both the methods and logic what concepts the amount after 9 years a9 
again you have to write minimum a9 is amount after 9 years this equals to p into 1 plus r by 100 power 9 this is given to you as triple nine amount after 12 years would be how much p into 1 plus r by 100 power 12 this is 2197 this is given to you now divide 2 by 1 I am dividing second by first what you will get see 1 p 1 plus r by r by 100 power 12 but you will get 1 plus r by 100 power 3 this is equals to 2197 by triple 9 this equals to 3 triple 9 into 3 is 2197 so you got the value of 1 plus r by 100 power 3 is 3 years you can put that value in any of the equation put in first this is equation number 1 this is equation number 2 you can put in 1 you can get the value a9 was triple 9 p into 1 plus r by 100 power 9 this can be written as p into 1 plus r by 100 power 3 power 3 you can write like this we know the value of 1 plus r by 100 power 3 is 3 this is 3 q that is 30 27 p is equals to triple nine so good the value of p is equals to triple nine by 27 that is equals to 27 3 is a 81 left is this is 37 answer is 37 so principle will be 37 so this is a logical way again with this method only you can solve the question in less than one minute because straight away you will get 1 plus r by 100 power cube is 3 this will become 3 power 3 27 I have explained in a bit detail manner so that even an average student can understand what I am doing so answer is 37 you can solve this question with a logical way but in this solving in logical way you have to think in a bit different manner like what is given to you a9 amount after 9 year is given to you this is your triple 9 amount after 12 year is given to you 2197 now as I told you in compound interest amount after 9 year will become the principal for 10th year the same value will get invested principal for 10th year this is 999 this at r percent per annum in three years becoming three times three years the value is becoming three times because 2197 is three times so can I say amount is three times of principal so principal will be one third principal is one third of this so can I say triple nine at same rate r percent per annum in three years what should be the amount or what should be the principal for this triple nine can I say this is should be triple three because um, in three years at r percent the value is getting tripled so value is triple nine so principal four at the beginning of seventh year would be triple three again going back that was amount after six year triple three again r percent per annum three years the value is getting tripled so what should be initial value principal for the fourth year it must be triple one you must have invested triple one that in r percent in three years become triple three again this is the amount after three years triple one again r percent per annum three years initial principal p1 initial principal would be how much one third of this 37 so going back you can still get the answer as 37 the basic logic is that amount after certain years will become the principal for the upcoming years so in this way you can solve the question in least possible time remember that you don't have to cram any formulas you only have to apply the logic concept options in next class I will discuss some more examples and examples especially how to solve the question with the help of 
options. Thank you.